Hey everyone, welcome to another video by Optionables. My name is Saket and today in this video, we are going to look at what happened to the markets, what we can expect from the markets tomorrow. Tomorrow is an expiry day and it is a very crucial day. And finally, what happened to our trade. So before we move on, there is one very important thing which I would want to tell you guys. We had announced a single day workshop around two weeks back. And we had told that we'll be conducting this workshop absolutely for free for around 100 people. And we had also told that from whichever city we get the highest responses, we'll be conducting the workshop there. So we got around 2000 responses out of which close to 450 responses were from Bangalore. And that's why we decided to conduct this workshop in Bangalore. So this workshop will be conducted on 20th of May. 2022 that is the upcoming Friday so on upcoming Friday we will be having this workshop in Bangalore in La Marbella and totally there are 450 people who have actually applied from Bangalore and out of these 450 we have sent a confirmation mail to 150 people so the thing is the mail has been sent yesterday and we have got a confirmation from around 70 people so we would request you to check your mails so whoever has applied from Bangalore we would request you to check your mail and if we don't receive any response from your end within the next two days then we'll be giving opportunity to other people so st still there are around 300 people from Bangalore itself so we will be giving the opportunity to them so do check your mails and if you have received it and if you are free on 20th to attend the workshop then please do send your confirmation email so with this, we'll quickly move on to the markets and see what exactly happened. So when you actually look at the markets today, it was nothing less than a roller coaster ride. Markets opened around 16,300 and markets came down all the way to 16,000 and it closed around 16,200. So today was absolute V-shape. So actually you can call it any shape because market was moving so violently. So it formed all sort of shapes uh, possible. And uh, if you actually look at the stock specific action, so there was no sector which really outperformed or underperformed. Obviously, banking sector did fairly well. But apart from that, when you actually look at it, there was no sector in specific which actually ended up gaining a lot or losing a lot. So it was more or less stock specific action which contributed to move in Nifty. And when we actually look at Bank Nifty for example, so Bank Nifty was relatively strong compared to Nifty because of HDFC Bank and Kotak Bank. So both of them showed a positive strength and that's the reason even though Nifty ended around 70 points lower, Bank Nifty ended around 200 points higher. So one thing what we should keep in mind is HDFC Bank and Kotak Bank alone contribute to somewhere around 42 to 45 percent in Bank Nifty. So these two banks can alone move Bank Nifty the way they want, right? So IT index didn't do that well and even Reliance didn't do that well, but HDFC Kotak did. So overall, uh, when you actually look at it, when you look at the broader market, uh, so market ended up lower, but good thing is that we also saw that market took a very strong support at 16,000. So as soon as it hit 16,000, we immediately saw a lot of buying come in and the market went towards 16,200. So this is one positive news and we had discussed this earlier in many videos that we find 16,000 to be a very important support for the market and today also it respected 16,000 and it bounced back from there. So does it mean that we have found the bottom? Uh, I would say uh, that the trend still remains to be bearish. So there are specific reasons why I believe in this. Even if you look at the overall broader market, out of around 2000 actively traded stocks in NSE, 1600 stocks were in red and hardly 300 stocks were in green. So you look at the market breadth, the ratio is almost close to 80 to 20. 80 stocks were in red and only 20 stocks were in green. So 20% of the stocks were in green. So clearly the market breadth is very negative. And again, it won't be a surprise if FIS have sold today as well. So that's the reason we believe that even if the market hits higher, there will be certain selling which will be coming in and it will be bringing the market lower. Because overall on the global side, 
things are still negative there is still love happening in all global markets so one thing uh, what we can be certain of is again if the market comes towards 16000 DIIs will definitely buy and try to push the markets higher so it is only time which is going to tell us which way the market is headed so we are still short on nifty future we continue to hold nifty future short so we'll be closing it once nifty crosses 16800 so now coming to tomorrow's expiry and it is going to be a very crucial expiry what is the expectations for the market when you look at it based on today's price action specifically i am expecting nifty to consolidate between 16000 to 16400 so this is the range i'm expecting nifty to consolidate and bank nifty i'm expecting to consolidate between 34000 to 35500 so a broader range for bank nifty 34000 to 35500 so this is based on open interest as well as the price action so we won't be doing a detailed analysis today as uh, we will have to go out after this and there is very little time hence i won't be able to put a detailed analysis video but i am definitely going to tell you what is the market view we are having so this is the view what we are having for nifty and bank nifty that is 16000 to 16400 34000 to 35500 for bank nifty so now uh, when we actually come to our trade let's also try to understand what happened Yesterday in video, I had told that we have stopped intraday trading and we are doing mainly positional. So the position what we held was 16,000 to 16,500. So today I did one more shift. So this shift, I shifted both the call legs down and the put legs down. From a strangle of 16,000 to 16,500, I have shifted this completely towards 15,900 to 16,400. So 100 points down on the put side, 100 points down on the call side. So the logic remains to be same. So I was expecting the market to be bearish and the market did go down. And that's the reason I slightly shifted my put legs as well as call legs lower. Now, the thing is, uh, the trade would have gone extremely well if I had just left everything as it is. But I didn't do that what i rather ended up doing is i took a intraday trade so i thought today is wednesday there'll be some good dk so i haven't done intraday on friday monday tuesday so let me just try doing intraday on wednesday and this decision turned out to be very bad because from today's intraday trade you can expect what exactly would have happened stop losses would have got triggered everywhere and we ended with a loss of 1.8 lakh from intraday and we made around 1.4 lakh from positional. Overall, we ended the day with around 40,000 loss. So this was very unfortunate because if we hadn't done intraday today, then overall we would have another 1,40,000 profit. So we were in a good winning streak. So we were continuously making profit from almost uh, Wednesday or Tuesday of last week. So this winning streak is today broken and we have ended with a loss of around 40,000. So the thing is uh, doing intraday trade again didn't turn out to be that well, uh, but that's fine. Uh, tomorrow we are definitely going to do intraday, but this will be discretionary trades. So these won't be system based trade. So a lot of discretionary trades will be done uh, intraday because tomorrow is the expiry day. So let's see how it goes. Uh, overall, this week positional trade gave us a lot of profit mainly because the market was volatile yet it was consolidating so from friday we had picked the range of 16000 to 16800 so today is wednesday till wednesday end market is more or less consolidating between this range itself so we have got very good dk both on call legs and put legs so let's see how tomorrow goes and if the opening is flat maybe we can start off by uh, gaining around uh, 40 50,000 in the opening itself and later we'll try to push towards one and a half to two lakh overall gain we don't know if that would be possible but our try would definitely to be aim for one and a half to two lakh profit with a maximum loss of also two lakh so either if we make we'll be making two lakh negative or two lakh positive so that is the idea for tomorrow so let's see how it goes i'll be catching you again tomorrow and meanwhile if you have liked this video do not forget to hit the like button share this video and subscribe to optionables thank you so much for joining us